Hi book lovers, welcome back to my channel. I'm doing my November book haul today. I got quite a few books again last month because I am back on my eBay bullshit. I am buying used books again. So I got around 60 books and I also did get a couple things from Hello Lovely Box, which I'm a rep for. You can use Lacey15 for 15% off any order. So I'm just gonna start off with the Hello Lovely Box stuff. I got some really cute totes. This one is the donut one. It says, if I can't bring my book, I donut want to go and then this beige toe is more simple it says read books be kind stay weird i have this saying in my mug that i'm actually using right now <laughs> for my drink but these two totes are great i got a notepad and pen the notepad says pizza is my favorite love triangle and the pen says let's talk about books i got the new bookmarks that hello lovely box is selling they're all foodie related and the designs are so adorable this waffle one says i love books a waffle lot the pizza one again pizza is my favorite love triangle and the pink donut one i don't want to go romance is my cup of tea in the green and then the yellow one is a gouda romance makes me melt there are also chapsticks that go along with these bookmarks with the matching flavor plus there's a six one that says brew strong books long with a cup of coffee or tea i also got this big candle it says angsty uh, the flavor is cranberry apple heartbreak it does smell really nice it smells like fall autumn holidays kind of stuff i got some more clothes i got this really nice hoodie with the same saying read books be kind stay weird and it also has on the top be a good human the gray joggers with the donut design on it in purple and probably my new favorite thing which is this huge and comfy blanket it's the bury me blanket with the cute skeleton design in the corner it's big it's warm it's so nice i've been using it to sleep at night i've been layering at night because it's been getting cold and i just love this blanket so much so those are my hello lovely box goodies don't forget you can use my code lacy 15 for 15 percent off and now on to the actual books that i got i'm gonna start off with these first two that i got as gifts this first one is a kingdom of flesh and fire by jennifer l armentrout this one is a gift from my friend lisa remarkably lisa we sent each other early christmas gifts um mainly because she's all the way up in canada and i have to send stuff early for her but for this one she literally paypal me the money so that i could buy it off of amazon um but i love this book i love this vampire fantasy series so thank you lisa for this one and this second gift is What the Wind Knows by Amy Herman. This was one of my favorite reads um, this year. The audiobook was so good. This one was sent to me off my Amazon wish list um, from someone who watches me. They left a note but no name so if you're watching this and you're the one who sent this to me thank you so much. If you don't know what this one is it is historical fiction with a really good romance. It's basically Outlander but Irish. It's so good. The ending was so beautiful. I teared up from it. Also, the audiobook is amazing. If you have KU, you can get it for free. It's so good. And then on to some more books that I was sent. I'm just gonna do all the indie books that I got. So here is Noble Prince by Debney Perry. This is part of her Motorcycle Club series. I'm so behind on the series. I'm about three books behind now. Um, I liked book one. It had some good action, good suspense, um, but I haven't continued on from that though I do want to. In this book we have a heroine staying with a hero who is the chief of police um, for protection because she has some information on a motorcycle club that could end up ending her life. They're staying in his house together now. It sounds good. And then I was sent a couple paranormal romance books for the PNR readathon. This first one is War of Hearts by Samantha Young, S. Young. It is the first book, the first standalone in the True Immortality series, and it's got like vampires, werewolves, fae, all that good stuff. I'm actually doing a little readathon of War of Hearts and then the second book, Kiss of Vengeance, with Charles from Books on Stereo and Carrie from Booked for Romance. We're doing a live show on Friday, I think, um, just to talk about these two books, so join us if you can. I also got The Dark Ones by Rachel Van Dyken, which I have read. I read a long, long time ago. I don't remember what happened. It's the only book in the series that I read, never continued. And then these two, Kristen Purby, Paranormal Romances, I think Spells is book one, and then Shadows is book two. It's got magic and witches and warlocks, which is not what I typically read when it comes to 
paranormal romances, but it is nice to read something different. I haven't started these yet, but I do want to. I got a Jewel E. Anne book, Perfectly Adequate. It's a rom-com. It sounds like a lot of fun. The hero is a single father and a doctor, and then the heroine is a nursing student. I believe that the heroine here is autistic, and also she owns a freaking emu. So this one sounds great. I usually love Jewel E. Anne. Look the Part is still one of my favorite books, so I am excited for this one. And then I got a bunch of Jillian Dodd books. That Summer is a new adult contemporary romance, friends to lovers, and the author also sent this shirt to go along with it. It matches the shirt on the female cover model, so I figured why not wear it for today's video. Also from Jillian Dodd, Girl Off the Grid, this one has a fashion blogger heroine and a wildlife photographer hero. It is enemies to lovers and they do not get along when they go off the grid uh, to Costa Rica for a job. And then I got these four books in the Kitty Valentine series. Kitty Valentine dates a billionaire, dates an actor, dates a best man and dates a cowboy. The heroine basically goes on all these dates with all these different men so she can spice up her romance life and get some inspiration because her publisher told her that she needs to start writing some smut. And then this last indie book I actually bought for myself. It is Flo by Kennedy Ryan with the original cover. I've been looking for all the original covers for the trilogy um, and I finally found them all. This one was from Half Price Books online. Um, I took the risk because the website showed the new cover but I figured since they're all new books and then the new cover is only recently released um, I figured that the actual book would be the original one and it was so now I'm just waiting for my friend Sarah to send me book one grip with the original cover I think that one was supposed to be for my birthday which was last February so it's been a while. And then I was sent a bunch of books from some publishers. Sourcebooks sent this really nice Christmas package. It came with Mistletoe and Mr. Wright by Sarah Morgan Thaler. This one is a small town romance set in Alaska. Joy to the Wolves by Terry Spear, which is a paranormal romance book. It's a Christmas PR. The heroine is a wolf shifter. The hero is also another shifter um, and also a detective. Blue Sky Cowboy Christmas by Joanne Kennedy, which is a Christmas cowboy romance. With with a one night fling. And these last two are also cowboy Christmas romances from source books. This one is Smokin' Hot Cowboy Christmas by Kim Redford. This one has renovations kind of stuff. And The Best Cowboy Christmas Ever by June Favor. This one has a single mother heroine. So if you love cowboys and you're looking for some Christmas romances, source books has you covered. I got this arc of If the Boot Fits by Rebecca Weatherspoon, which is book two in Cowboys of California series. Um, I do own book one, unfortunately. It is not the same size as this second book. Book one is the regular mass market paperback size, which is like this so it doesn't quite fit. Um, and then this book is the larger mass market paperback size. Not really sure why they decided to change it in the middle of a series. This one is kind of a twist on Cinderella except it has the Oscars, um, a ranch, and an accidentally stolen Oscar statue. And the main characters meet on the night that the hero wins his first Oscar. Avon sent me a couple goodies. These three are actually um, doubles. I got these books again. So we have My Last Duchess by Eloisa James, which was adorable. Written in the Stars by Alexandra Belfour, which is an FF romance. And then the flip side by James Bailey, where the hero flips a coin to make all of his decisions. So those were extra copies that I'll probably end up giving away. Or something. I also got the new Alyssa Cole, How to Catch a Queen, which is the first book in the spin-off series, the Runaway Royal series. This one has a modern day a marriage of convenience. And then the book that I was so excited to get is this movie tie-in edition of The Duke and I. The title, they called it Bridgerton, The Duke and I. It has the main actors on the cover. It's trade paperback. It is so nice and I am so so excited for the Netflix show. I got the best women's erotica of the year volume 6 which was edited by Rachel Kramer Bustle. It's got a bunch of short stories, short erotic stories. I mainly got this one because it has a couple authors that I know. Zoe Castile, Mia Hopkins, Katrina Jackson, Naima Simone, and Olivia Waite. I got the newest um, winter Black Dagger Brotherhood story. I guess it's becoming a yearly thing now but this one is a warm 
Heart in Winter and we're back with Blay and Quinn. So it's an MM vampire Christmas romance. You might probably need to have read Lover at Last because that one is Blay and Quinn's first book. I haven't gotten to this one yet but it is on my Christmas TBR. Berkeley also sent some new books my way. I got Archangel Sun by Nalini Singh which is the latest Guilt Hunter book and I adored this one. It's the first time we get a romance with another Archangel besides Raphael. The hero is the Archangel of Africa and I ended up loving Titus and Shireen. I think this one is book 13 so we are quite into the series now. I got Leopard's Rage by Christine Feehan which has a leopard shifter hero. Crazy Stupid Bromance by Lissa K. Adams which is book three in her Bromance book club series. This one sounds adorable. It's friends to lovers. The heroine owns a cat cafe and then the hero is a hacker. The Boy Toy by Nicola Marsh which has an age gap with an older heroine, younger hero. The hero actually hires her as his dialect coach because he wants to be hired as a reality show host. Um, but he needs help working on his stutter and how to fail at flirting by Denise Williams. The heroine wants to do something fun and creates a whole to-do list. She meets the hero on her night out and he decides to help her with that to-do list. I've heard this one is not quite as rom com -y as you would expect. There's a whole storyline with the heroine's um, abusive ex-boyfriend. So I'll be going into this one with that in mind. I got another paranormal romance, Bane's Choice by Alyssa Day. This one actually sounds really good. It's got a vampire motorcycle club. I don't think I've ever read these two things combined, vampires and an MC romance, but it sounds great. The hero is the vampire leader of this motorcycle club and he ends up falling for a human doctor. I got this Nora Roberts bundle. It's the McGregor series. It's a reissue of two already released books. This one they called it the McGregor's New Beginnings and the two stories are playing the odds and tempting Fate. Playing the Odds has a blackjack dealer heroine, which sounds very intriguing. I got a couple Harlequin books as well. One of my most anticipated ones is Off Limits Attraction by J.C. Lee. This is the third and final book in her Heirs of Hansel series. This one is another Asian romance and the main characters are producing a film together. A new Harlequin Presents book, Stolen to Wear His Crown by Marcella Bell. The heroine is literally stolen away to the hero's palace and they're forced to marry each other. And then these two Therese Behari books, One Day to Fall, which has a grumpy taxi cab driver hero. And then A Wedding One Christmas, has the whole I need a fake date for a wedding kind of romance. Also it's another Christmas romance so if you need more books to read for the holidays check this one out. And then I got some romances from Forever. I got the new Elizabeth Hoyt book, new historical romance from her, When a Rogue Meets His Match which is a marriage of convenience. This one is book two in her new series, The Great Court series, and it's got quite a bit of intrigue. Second Chance on Cypress Lane by Reese Ryan which is a small town romance and a second chance romance. She moves back to her small hometown and of course sees the guy who broke her heart. And then I got this really exciting arc, Accidentally Engaged by Farrah Heron. It's got the fake engagement trope. It's a South Asian romance. The heroine is a baker. She and the hero enter this couple's cooking competition, which sounds like so much fun. I also got a couple non-romances that I'll show you guys before I get into all the used books that I bought. This one is Postscript by Cecilia Ahern, which is a sequel to P.S. I Love You. I had to request this one by Rachel Bloom. I love her and her show Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, but this one is her collection of essays and poems called I Want to Be Where the Normal People Are. And I also got this illustrated book, uh, One of Those Days by Yehuda and Maya Devere. I used to follow them on Instagram. I love their art, especially the ones of them and their family. They're so adorable. I was sent the new Sophie Kinsella, Love Your Life. The heroine goes to this writer's retreat in Italy where everyone is anonymous and she ends up falling for a fellow writer, but they don't know who the other person is. I also got this gorgeous hardcover of The Burning God by R.F. Kuang. This one is the third and final book in the Poppy War series, the Poppy War trilogy. I haven't read it yet, but I've heard amazing things about it. And then finally, I got A Promised Land by Barack Obama. I was so, so excited when the publisher sent this one to me. It looks great, though I think I might end up listening to the audiobook because it is narrated by him. And now on to all the 
these books that I bought from eBay. This first one is actually one in my display of Julie Garwood books. I got Honor Splendor by Julie Garwood with the original embossed cover. I don't know if you can tell but it's got this really pretty metallic shine to it. It does have a rip in the corner but this is the best one I could find. It's so pretty in pink. I love it. It came in this random lot with a couple other historicals. Um, this one is Secrets of a Proper Lady by Victoria Alexander and it has a really pretty step back. It looks so soft. In this one both the main characters have mistaken the other person for someone else so mistaken identities. I got this Mary Balog book, Simply Magic, a Joe Beverly book, The Devil's Heiress. Sadly there's no step back for this one. Another Julie Garwood, The Prize, which I actually already own. And then this paranormal book from Nora Roberts, The Pagan Stone. It has a step back but it literally just has a rock on it. There's actually a sticker for Borders on the back and I'm feeling so nostalgic now because Borders was my favorite bookstore growing up. I also got this Laura Can Say A Lot from eBay. The seller finally gave me a discount. This one is The Hidden Heart which is sadly not the original old school cover. Still looking for that one. The hero is a sea captain so kind of a pirate romance. After the death of her father the hero is now in charge of finding the heroine a good marriage but of course he ends up falling for her instead. I got My Sweet Folly which has this really pretty holographic center on the cover. This one is an epistolary romance and it sounds so good. The hero is a tortured hero. He's actually the heroine's husband's cousin but then the heroine's husband dies and now he has to go take care of his late cousin's daughter and also be around the heroine. I got Flowers from the Storm with the original Fabio cover. This one is her most popular book. Still haven't read it but I will soon-ish. But this cover is classic Fabio holding flowers with his hands stretched out. Another one I got is The Shadow and the Star which I've also heard amazing things about. This one has this gorgeous step back. Fabio again with water all over them. And then this last Lorican sale I got is For My Lady's Heart with this medieval looking step back. I do think it's actually a medieval romance. We've got a princess and a knight and the princess actually comes to the knight's rescue. One of the best used books that I found so far is this book Lacey by Nora Hess. Obviously you can tell why I got this book. It has my name as the title and the heroine is also called Lacey. It has a gorgeous step back. I love it. This one is a western romance. The heroine ends up marrying the rancher hero but then she finds him in another woman's bed and finds out that it's all part of this whole revenge scheme. It sounds very intriguing. I'm not 100% sure that the hero actually actually cheats on her but I guess we'll see. I ended up getting another Stephanie Lawrence book, one that I was missing, The Lady Chosen with this step back. This book is part of the Bastion Club series. We have a hero who has to marry but he wants to choose his own wife and he settles on his neighbor. Unfortunately she doesn't want to marry him. She actually doesn't want to marry at all. The heroine and her family end up getting attacked by someone and the hero sees this as his perfect opportunity to step in as protector and also try to seduce her into marrying him. And then these last two are Jude Devereaux books that I found. This one is Twin of Ice with the original cover. It's the first printing and it's so so pretty. This is a western historical romance in Colorado which I don't think I've ever come across before. And this last Jude Devereaux book is Highland Velvet. This one is a medieval Scottish Highlander romance. He wants her, he wants to claim her, but she hates him and refuses him. I still haven't read Jude Devereaux yet but I will eventually. Those were all the books that I got last month for November. I'll link everything down in the description below. Let me know if you read any of them. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you all next time. Bye!